Formerly known as Northeastern Beaver County School District in Northern Beaver County, Riverside High School stands on the Conoquinesson Creek. Riverside wasn't always here. In fact, the school wasn't always called Riverside. Beaver County began to organize schools at the turn of the century. Northeastern Beaver County consisted of the townships Marion, Franklin, and North Swigley. Each of these townships had many one-room schools. One teacher taught up to 40 students in each schoolhouse. In 1953, leaders in the three townships met to join the schools to create the Northeastern Beaver County Joint School System. In the late 40s and early 50s, many of the one-room schools closed. New multi-room schools began to open in the area and educated students in Northeastern Beaver County in grades 1 through 8. Prior to 1959, Northeastern Beaver County School District did not have a high school. Riverside High School opened its doors for the first time in September of 1959. The previous year, the joint schools became a school district. Although the district's name was Northeastern Beaver County, the high school was still known as Riverside. The school board voted in 1974 to officially change the school's name to Riverside. My name is Thomas Hupp and I'm a graduate of the class of 1967. One of the first five original classes that started Riverside from day one. And then I came back here in 1972 after graduating from college and I taught until 2005. My name is Dan Plasmeyer. I'm currently a maintenance mechanic here at Riverside uh, High School. Um, I've been here for 12 years. The Riverside High School construction was completed in 1959 and we had our first graduating class in 1963. Remember them taking us up there to show us how to go through the cafeteria line and because you know, we didn't have any of that when we growing up. The first graduating class of Riverside High School started their freshman year in 1959. This class voted on the mascot and colors for their new high school named Riverside. The pool, the auditorium, the English hall, the science hall, uh, and kindergarten were all added later. Half of the English hall, where the metal strip is on the floor and going up. Yes, that was all added later. The school originally opened for classes on September 8, 1959. The new district gathered students from multiple surrounding middle schools, North Star School, Locust Grove School, and Hillcrest School, as well as a one-room schoolhouse, the Nye School. So even up to 1956, there were still kids going to one-room school. I'm Jerry Lynn Cummings. My maiden name was Stockman, Jerry Lynn Stockman. I graduated from here in 1999. I was born and raised in this North Wigley Township, so I went here K through 12. I just remember growing up and there being Tractor Day in the high school, and the whole entire, from the tennis courts all the way to the football parking lot, there was probably anywhere between 30 to 50 tractors lined up. But the one thing that I'm proud of, and I think this is a little bit of my background here, is just that I'm kind of big into tradition and that's one thing that I don't want to see go away, that I really appreciate it. And they, um, they've they let it go on here and the kids always seem to participate. And we had faculty last year with the Hayride and uh, it just ended up being something that is hopefully going to continue forever and get bigger and bigger. When I went to school here, the primary center was at the Hillcrest School, uh, the Hillcrest Primary Center on Route 65 up by North Wickley Township Police Department in between there and the gas station. Hillcrest School itself was opened in 1952 in order to close Balloon Valley, Bennett's Run, Harper's Ferry, Riverview, Glendale, and Grandview. 
The Hillcrest School Building still stands on Route 65 between Panthorette Park and North Swickley Fire Station. It is now home to the Palatian Sisters Nunnery. Edgewood Baptist Church was built in the place of Laurel Point School. I'm Edna Shiny Mantle, and she's Shelby Hall. And uh, we come from a family, we have one other sister that went to Riverside also. Uh, we had 12, we come from a family of 12 children, and all 12 children has, had attended North Star School at mm -hmm. one, that one time in their life or other. North Star School formerly stood on Route 288. The building was demolished and North Star Shopping Plaza and Advanced Auto Parts now stands in its place. Locust Grove School was abandoned near Steeple Park. Locust Grove was four rooms up and four rooms down. Wiley Hill, Pleasant Valley, and Forest Glen students graduated to Locust Grove Middle School. The Marion Middle School also taught students who would eventually attend Riverside. Marion opened in 1958 and is located on Hartzell School Road. The building also serves as an office building for Honeywell Corporation. The opening of the Marion School allowed for the closing of the Nye School, which was, interesting enough, one of the last one-room school buildings in the area. Students who attended Marion Middle School either attended Nye, Old Furnace, or Ferndale. What is most interesting about the Northeastern Beaver story is that students who started at a neighboring high school did not transfer to Northeastern when it opened. Yeah, yeah, the current guidance uh, office was the smoking lounge at the, at the time when I went to school there. Prior to the construction of Riverside High School, students in the original middle schools would graduate to one of the neighboring high schools, New Brighton, Beaver Falls, Zillianople, or Elwood City High School. It was a blow to them. Uh, my, rel my, my parents were from Elwood. You know, my relatives, they made fun of us. It was a blow to have all of a sudden 50 or 60 students, some of whom were great athletes. I mean, we saw that film with, with Chuck Katubi. I mean, he would have gone to, gone to Elwood. So. Think of the football teams Elwood would have had with probably the majority of Riverside students went to Elwood and Beaver Fall. But I remember when I was in Elwood in seventh and eighth grade, we called Riverside River Rats. At the time, I didn't have a problem transitioning from being a Riverside kid to being an Elwood kid. However, as an adult, I taught at Elwood for two years. That was hard. I found it difficult to cheer for, you know, I supported the students that I taught and I went to the football games and I would cheer for them against the other teams, but when my students were playing Riverside, I could not cheer against Riverside. Couldn't do it. But it was a tough time for us at Riverside. We were really looked down upon. But I think we, we prevailed. Hi, my name is Mrs. Laura Cipriano, and I'm the new high school librarian here at Riverside Beaver County High School here in Elwood City, Pennsylvania. We have yearbooks dating all the way back to 1963, the first year that Riverside opened, and we have yearbooks all the way up to the current issue of um, 2011. Um, in the yearbooks, of course, you're going to have all of the faculty and staff who worked here over the years, as well as the students and the classes and the school events that have taken place. And like I said, these are all located in my office and people can come see me to take a look. We also have a website that is available to students and teachers and it is our Riverside High School Library website. And on that website, students can access information about the project. They can also access information for completion toward their student projects. That website is located at riversidehslibrary.wikispaces.com. Yeah.
first Mr. Brooks principal. <laughs> Oh, they did like all their kindergarten pictures and Look, stuff. Here's Mr. Severn. Here are the 1999-2000 sophomore class officers, Secretary David Daniels, President John Severn. This is future homemakers of America. <laughs> it's all girls. Yeah, homemakers. Yeah. The Knights of Riverside. It looks nothing like it. No, it doesn't.